I decided on JMU a few years back. Um, I was looking at a few other schools, BU, um, a lot of all comparable and um, super awesome. And I decided on JMU um, because the environment they have is super balanced. They put as much pressure as they do on soccer, as they do in academics, um, and they compete in the colonial athletics. Um, so I hopefully. I chose JMU because of the playing time. I knew uh, playing out of school when I was looking at um, other big names like FSU, I wouldn't, you know, uh, get as much time as I wanted. But at JMU, I knew that um, I would hopefully uh, be able to play for all my four years and make an impact to the team right away. Yeah, you talked about you made this decision three years ago, but you have to go through the next few years and play and play at a high level. Uh, talk about, did that give you more pressure or did it take less pressure off you knowing that that's where you wanted to go? Because like I said, it wasn't official to put your name on the line today. It definitely, I mean, people view it uh, differently, but it definitely for me put on less pressure. Um, it was very stressful freshman year and towards the end of sophomore year, you know, figuring out which school I wanted to play at. Um, and my grades and my performance and them always coming to the tournaments I was playing at and after I committed I gave the verbal commitment to JMU it was so much easier um, you know I didn't give up on my academics nor on the field but um, it was definitely that it was like my second home was already figured out you know and instead of playing for uh, whichever future college I could put all my effort into just James Madison. And just talk about your career here at Pope John. You guys have won a bunch of uh, American Division titles. Uh, you guys made the section final two years in a row, which had never been done here. Uh, just talk about playing here at Pope John under Coach Ryan Barbalescu. Definitely playing uh, for Pope John has impacted my playing. Um, Ryan is one of the best coaches out there, even in high school and on other levels. Um, him at, Having him as a coach... Um, directed my style of play. Um, and we did have success here at Pope John. Of course, I know not winning the finals at, uh, for the two years in a row was upsetting. But um, the setbacks that it uh, losing that it gave us um, helped me mentally to understand, even in college and whichever, even if I go past college, that you're not always going to win. But um, fixing what you can from uh, the losses definitely will be able to point you into a better direction and a better outlook on competing at such high levels. And just a little about the tradition of uh, Pope John soccer over the years, Division One players, uh, Emily Crollo down in Virginia, uh, Flanagan went to South Florida before she went to Centenary. Now you're another D1 player. Just talk about that. Going into uh, coming here for high school, I um, n knew of Emily Carollo and Flanagan. I was uh, friends with Maddie, uh, the younger sister. All great um, football players. And knowing about them and their success they had here, really um, amped me up. It you know, got me uh, ready to want to follow in the same path that they did to go play D1 and you know, go past that if you can. Um, but yeah, and also, so Frisk, one of my good friends, she's the, she'll be going to UMass. Um, I'll be playing her in college. Um, so I wish her the best and to carry on uh, after I graduate this year.